Good afternoon, Internet students. Ladies and gentlemen. When I don't say anything for a minute or two at a time, I have to concentrate on doing the artificial intelligence job. For some reason, it's not putting you in your rooms. For some reason, I don't know. Lumina, your team. Thank you, Yuka. And then there's a, a late arriver, still in kanji mode. Well, good afternoon. I will share my screen with you. That's what uh, scribbling on the chalkboard is about. Some of you maybe have tried to read it. So let's get started. I believe that the majority of you are here. So, five, four, three, two, the rooms are open. Mic check, mic check, okay. Statistics. I know, no, I'm not doing anything. Audio, 48. And okay, okay. I'm not sending out to anybody. To do. So first one, here I share my screen and you can see the eighth pro project. What? Oh, wait a minute. It should be open. All right, it's in public. Okay, so click your new teams. You notice I, I switched the pattern. Team A, Team B, Team C, five, five, five. Team D, Team E, Team F, six, six, six. Ah, some people have already looked. Good, good. Number one, access Manaba. 
find your new team, and then change your sign in letter. For instance, Miss Yano, your sign in letter is F right now, but you're not in team F. Miss Molita, I don't think you're in team D. Lumina, I don't think you're in A anymore. So find out your team and change your sign in name. Then I can put you in your new breakout rooms. And then you can exchange communication information with each other. And then you can come back here and I can talk to you a little bit about the magic of reading and human bias and uh, other things. And that stuff on the chalkboard, of course. So, action. Find your new team. Change your sign-in name. Yuto, thank you. Hi, hi. Yui, hi, hi. Molly, hi, hi. Mizuki, fast. Lino, fast. Yapari. One member of each team doesn't change. All right. did I do that? I say you're in team A. Yui, Mali, Shuga, you are not in team A. From the start, I asked you to rotate the, the jobs, except the leader's job. Uh, so every week there should be a different writer, and every week there should be a different speaker. Give everybody a chance to, to do all the tasks, but not the leader task. Now, you should understand that now there are four jobs. Only one job doesn't change. Your leader. Your leader. Choose a good one.
speakers must be different member every week. Writers must be different member every week. And you have a new task, making a team discussion PowerPoint. Everybody should be in action every week. Sometimes people don't feel good. I understand that. We all understand that. And so maybe for part of the week, no action. But in a normal situation, every team member contributes every week. Because the project team grade is a group grade. You, the majority of you, want to become teachers. I think teaching is one of the best jobs. But I have bias because I'm a professor, a teaching professor. Do I do research? Yep. 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 But I'm a teacher. But being a teacher means being a leader all the time. It also means sometimes pushing your students to do things they don't want to do or pushing your students to do things they don't think they can do. Bias surrounds us. So, ladies and gentlemen, now I design my classes so everybody participates. Now, second paragraph. But first, now, uh, Seventy-five percent of my working time, I was giving presentations. The other twenty-five percent of the time, I was watching presentations. Presentations are part of our normal world. The problem is, no one teaches us how to do a good presentation. I've told you my background before. I have a PhD in behavioral psychology. Perception is my middle name. I've studied it for more than 20 years, ladies and gentlemen. So, segue, PowerPoint is a powerful visual aid, a powerful visual aid. It is designed, the idea, the motivation is to use PowerPoint to help you explain your presentation, your speech. But everybody looks at those slides. So, some people put their speech in their slides. 
Do you know what that does? That guarantees 100% that when your audience leaves the room, they have forgotten everything you said. Because you're reading your speech from the slide. But your audience's eyes are looking at the slide. They are not listening to you. But you're speaking. So you are actually background noise. So the audience can't read everything and they don't hear anything so they leave with nothing. That's a zero. It's not compecky. PowerPoint is a visual, powerful visual aid. I'll say it again. But it is not magic. It is not magic. You must follow my instructions to do your best using PowerPoint. Three rules. Three. Simple. One, two, three. And I'll say them three times. And 75% of you will forget Number one, no white background. I can use any of these rooms. I choose this room because of the chalkboard. I am allowed to use three whiteboards in the back of the room. I could write my data one time and just move the, the whiteboards around and, hey, students, look at this. The problem is the background is white. When you were little boys and little girls, your mother said, don't stare at the sun. Looking at a white background is like looking in the sun. No white background. Number one. Number two. Repeating myself already. No reading speech from slides. No, no, you put your slide on the speech, automatic F. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, Larkins, why? But other professors put their speeches on the PowerPoint slides. And as soon as they turn the lights down, and they start going, nom, 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 nom. you go to sleep. No, no, no. Don't put your speech on your slides. And number three. No more than five elements on a slide. Five elements. Now, don't forget what I said. No. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Now, choose a real leader.
and be safe out there. I'm everyone that's wearing a mask. Good job. You're correct. Safe. Masks are the number one thing that prevents clusters from happening. So stay safe. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.